What is going on everybody? It's Tyler Owen and welcome back to the vlog. Today, I'm gonna to be telling you guys about the reasons why I moved to Da Nang, Vietnam from Ho Chi Minh City. There's a lot of pros and cons to each city, so let's hop straight into it and I'll go through things that you need to think about while you might be wanting to stay here short term or long term or just whatever applies to your life. So let's get into it. All right, right off the bat, guys, the first thing is noise. So as you can see behind me, you have fields of irrigation and fields where people are farming. In Ho Chi Minh City, you don't have any surroundings like this. There are no quiet zones in Ho Chi Minh City whatsoever, unless you go to the nearby parks, and even those are saturated with people who are trying to get away from the noise. So there's just nowhere you can go outside that is quiet. Like there's always traffic, there's always people, there's always pollution. So that's something you definitely want to think about when coming to a foreign country. You know, is it going to be super loud, super quiet in between? Is everybody going to be spread out? Is everybody going to be laying on top of each other? Um, you know, things of that sort of nature. And for the most part here in Ho Chi Minh and here in Da Nang, the people are friendly regardless. You're going to have people who disrespect you wherever you go, but for the most part, the Vietnamese are friendly. All right, guys, the next reason I moved from Ho Chi Minh City to Da Nang is pollution. Noise and pollution are the main two reasons. If you didn't watch the pollution vlog that I did on Ho Chi Minh City, make sure you go watch that. But Ho Chi Minh City is by far the most polluted city I've ever been to in my life. On most days, you cannot see a mile out with the view. It's just covered in smog and covered in pollution and uh, it's a serious issue. Here in Da Nang you have way less of that just because I don't know the exact population here but there's just less people. It's like living in Los Angeles compared to like somewhere in the mountains of California or living in Denver, Colorado as opposed to somewhere in the mountains in Colorado. The population is just way less people which means way less pollution uh, look at these these papaya fruits <laughs> it's another cool thing about vietnam there's just fruit everywhere just like florida but <clears throat> yeah pollution is a big thing and especially for me someone who loves to be outside and who loves to get physical activity in every single day Has side note anywhere you go there's going to be scooter pollution which i mean everybody's just on a scooter here so but yeah pollution guys pollution is just huge in ho chi minh city and the air quality out here is just far more superior in ho chi minh city i was coughing up black every day i don't smoke cigarettes or anything like that but you know being outside for a good amount of the day it definitely takes a toll here in da nang haven't coughed up black once so that definitely that's not an exaggeration either so that's definitely something to think about when you're going to a foreign country too what is the air quality like going to be there and this is something that i knew about southeast asia you know a lot of people did talk about you know places in thailand being extremely polluted and whatnot but it's just something you don't know until you experience it and coming from america i'm extremely spoiled with the air quality in america so that is the second reason why i moved here to da nang all right, you guys, I'm back at the house, the Airbnb, if you will. And this brings me to my final points about moving to Da Nang. Another reason for me moving to Da Nang would be the beach. You know, I am right on the beach over here and that is very nice. It's close to be, close to be, it's nice to be close to the source of the ocean. So that is very nice, even though it's very touristy over here. So I don't really like that, you know, there's a lot of, I'm trying to get away from America and a lot of people from America and Europe are coming over here. Um, so that kind of sucks. But in terms of that, that is another reason why I came down here for that. And then, you know, I would say the last reason is just surely 
exploration and manifestation, you guys, you know, I'm just exploring new endeavors and I had already been in Ho Chi Minh City. So in my head, it's like, okay, why not come to Da Nang? See what Da Nang's like, see what this life is like. You're already in Southeast Asia. You might as well make the most of it. And I suggest you do the same as well. My sister's about to be in Chiang Mai and Krabi, Thailand soon. So I'll probably hit a ride airplane ride over there and see what thailand's like you know because i'm already over here you guys and traveling is super duper cheap when you're in thailand like the flights in america to go from colorado to california or colorado to florida things of that sort of nature it's probably like 300 or 400 dollars both ways and over here i lit my flight from ho chi minh city to da nang which is an hour and a half it was literally $40, $40. It cost me more to check my luggage than it did for the actual plane ticket. So that's just something to think about you guys. But I'm gonna end the video here, show y'all this. I got some, some barbecue lays. I finally cracked, man. I got some Brazilian barbecue lays. We'll see how they are. But uh, yeah, you guys, if you know, you're curious about anything here in Da Nang or Ho Chi Minh City, coming from an American, let me know. Hit me up in the comments down below. I love you guys.